Now, later this year, the Royal Navy's new £3 billion supercarrier should be ready to enter the service. Yes, now she is the biggest ship that we've ever had, and every detail has to be just right, even down to the very special paint. This is the HMS Queen Elizabeth, the Royal Navy's newest and largest aircraft carrier. This mighty lady is state-of-the-art and will be the heart of the Royal Navy's operation for decades to come. But early on, the engineers of the Queen Elizabeth encountered a problem that could have landed this multi-billion pound vessel in hot water. The problem lay with the runway and the coating of protective paint covering it. It's tough, it's durable, and it gives great grip, which is perfect if you want to stop a jet plane very quickly or prevent your crew from slipping into the sea. But this surface wasn't designed with a new generation of fighter jets in mind. It'll be home to the Lightning II, the UK's new state-of-the-art jet fighter. Unlike normal fighters, it can adjust its jet engines downwards, allowing it to land vertically. And this creates tremendous amounts of heat on the ship's deck. Which is bad news for this stuff. To show me just how much damage the heat from the Lightning II's engines can do, I'm meeting engineer Brian Alcock from Monitor Coatings in North Shields. So what we've got here is a, is a sample of the conventional uh, paint system and then what we'll do is we'll simulate the, uh, the jet engine uh, landing on the deck paint. So that's a mini jet engine? Yes it is. And that is going to meet that? Yes it is. Can't wait. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, everybody good? Yeah, we're good. In three, two, one. The jet heats the paint up to around 600 degrees Celsius. So, how did the conventional paint fare? Wow, look at that. There's very little of the original coating left now. It's completely uh, gone here. And this is just one firing, so clearly this has to be repeated many, many times. That's clearly not going to work. No. Brian was tasked with finding a solution, and quickly to avoid a costly delay to the ship's launch. His clever idea was to look at the materials used to make the engines themselves. They contain metals that can withstand the extreme heat they produce. So, Brian set about trying to adapt this technology for his paint. The team cleverly mixed together two metals so they get the benefits of both. Now, on here is a coating which is a mixture of aluminium and titanium. Aluminium is good at spreading heat over a large area and reducing hot spots, but it isn't very strong, so it would struggle under the weight of the jets. To get around that problem, they add titanium. Just a small amount of this metal in the mixture will give it the strength it needs. Eight, three, two, one. So how does this mix of metals stand up to 600 degree heat generated by the jet engine? Look at that. There's no damage at all. So it's completely unscathed. Absolutely. So you can see the differences in the coating now and what they're capable of withstanding. But how do you coat the carrier deck with these metals? Well, you need a special machine called an arc spray gun. It melts the two metals together and sprays them at high temperatures onto the deck, covering it in a thin but sturdy layer. This is the final coating. And even though it doesn't look like much, thanks to Brian's technology, this is going to be here for as long as the Queen Elizabeth sails the seas. Thank you, Marty. Love oh, his films. Love them. Big well, fun. that military...